Get your arms growing with mostly cables. All right, guys, if you've been watching any of my arm days that I've been doing honestly for the last two years, you know that a majority or at least 50% of my arm training comes from a cable station. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. The first one in my mind is always gonna be it's joint friendly, right? So especially if I'm speaking on triceps, I wanna do at least two if not three cable extensions or overhead extensions before I ever dream of doing skull crushers or dips, even a dip machine, close grip bench press, JM press, any of that, right? So all day long, I'm gonna do things like single arm pushdowns, rope pushdowns, overhead rope extensions, an easy bar pushdown, or even the double underhand that John taught us with the sponge grip here. And all of those are gonna adequately warm my elbows up before I get into what I would consider the meat and potatoes, right? So the incline dumbbell skull crushers, the kettlebell skull crushers, close grip bench press, easy bar skull crushers, dips, dip machine. So I'm gonna go in there with a massive pump, but also all of my joints are gonna feel great. So that's number one. And even if I'm talking about biceps, right? I'm, I feel much better starting with like a single arm handle cable curl or an easy bar cable curl or a rope hammer curl ever before I feel great starting with a, even a dumbbell or an easy bar or definitely a barbell curl. Just if you look at those three motions for curls, I'm gonna feel a lot better doing one or two of those honestly before ever getting into the, again, meat and potatoes, the dumbbells, the barbells, the easy bars, because it just feels good. So that's the number one reason is joint friendly. Next one I wanna think about is I want an absolute mega pump when I do arms. I wanna get those things swollen and engorged as fast as humanly possible. So we do that because the cables have constant tension on them. If I'm doing a curl here, I have 20 pounds on the stack. It's 20 pounds here, 20 pounds here, 20 pounds here. As opposed to a dumbbell, to the moment that this weight starts coming towards me, meaning towards my body to full contraction, I'm losing tension because it's the heaviest here when it's the most away from my body. Now it's getting a little bit easier, now a little bit easier. This is easier, easiest, right? Because again, gravity pulls directly down, not east and west. So I like this cable motion, if I'm speaking about curls and specifically, is because it's constant tension. It's 20 pounds from the start to the finish. So that's what we wanna think about. With these cables, there's a reason they feel so good for your joints, so great for your muscles. And I think sadly, a lot of people believe that the cable work is pansy or not hardcore. So they're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go do the barbell curl. And next you know their elbows and wrists and forearms are beat to absolute shit and they can't figure out why. Well, guess what? When I get on stage and I pose, no judge has ever asked me, Chris, those arms look like they were built in an easy bar cable curl. No, they don't give a shit. They don't care. Like, are your arms good? Or are they bad? And if I can get better arms with the cables and less injuries, I'm going to do it. All right, so you notice the point that I mentioned earlier about arms and having mega pump and moving quickly, right? Well, the great thing about cables or machines that are cable based are going to be how easy it is to adjust the weights and do to your next set, right? Where if I'm going to say a barbell or easy bar, speaking specifically about like I say a preacher curl, for example, I'm going to get out, I got to pull the clips off, load weight, put the clips back on, turn around, sit, take a drink of my intra recovery, and then I'm going. As opposed to, let's say I'm doing a machine preacher curl, I literally just pull the pin, plop it down, and I can crank, right? So let's say I'm gonna do a drop set. You know how much time I can save by simply just pull, pin, pull, pin, pull, pin, pull. That means I can get more time or attention in a shorter period of time with the cable system. So in terms of efficiency, I love it. Next, speaking about that efficiency, especially if I'm pre-contest, right? And my energy nutrients are very low, meaning my carbs and fat are in the tank. The thought of loading weight, and listen, if you've ever been truly shredded, you are gonna relate to this. Just being able to pull that pin and place the weight for what you want it is gonna save a ton of energy, which allows you to train harder during your actual work, as opposed to loading plates, unloading plates, walking across the gym, finding say a 10 or a 25. And I know it sounds silly to people who don't compete, but when your carbs are, 30, 40, 50 grams at most, and you've already done an hour of cardio that morning, it saves a lot of energy. And you can apply that energy to your actual sets as opposed to using it between sets. So again, that's a point that I always like to bring up for arm training. They take such a pounding with your heavy pulling, with your heavy pressing, that it seems silly to me to waste that energy. And honestly, the joint wear and tear when I can get the same, if not better, honestly, from the cable system. So kind of putting that all together, guys, as a whole, I love cables for arms. If your arms were growing like weeds with free weights, ignore this video. But I'm telling you, for me, once I switched to mostly cables, my arms took a new look. They took bigger, rounder, fuller. 
and it's because my joints were chronically beat to shit. Because listen, I fell into that category that I talked about early in the video. I thought I had to skull crusher 185 pounds. I thought I had to barbell curl 180 pounds. I thought I had to, you know, do 60s with alternating dumbbell curls. Guess what? All I did was beat the shit out of my forearms or my elbows. And my arms weren't getting better, they were getting worse because I was in pain. So instead of feeling my triceps contract and burn like crazy, I thought my elbows were gonna blow off the joint. So if that's you, if you have that pain, switch to cables. Don't be scared to decrease the hardcoreness and opt for something that's gonna blow your arms up, get a huge pump and get you growing again starting today. So if you like this video guys, like, share and subscribe. Comment below what's your favorite cable arm exercise. If I had to pick one, overhead tricep extensions are it all day long. I feel like that has been this all season's most productive exercise for me in terms of growing the long head of my triceps. So I'd love to hear what that exercise is for you. Post it below. Until next time, Christmas TV.